welcome back to my channel today guess what we're going shopping again but this time at sephora first off i just want to say thank you for all your support that you've been giving to me on all of my shopping videos let me know if you want more of these in the comments down below at sephora i'm going to be shopping for some makeup products here's my list i'm looking for a rare beauty contour stick yeah guys i kind of gave up on the other one a translucent powder glossier highlight stick they have glossier products at sephora i'm actually really surprised before you can only get glossier online and a powder puff to use with the translucent powder i'm also going to be looking for all the other tiktok popular products at sephora I'll probably go shopping somewhere else afterwards so let's get right to it there's sephora and the good thing is that it's right inside of a kohl's maybe i can go clothing shopping guys let's see Ooh, there's fenty beauty but first i'm looking for rare beauty it's right here Ooh, they look pretty stocked up i hope they have what i'm looking for though where are the bronzer sticks um, I see the popular rare beauty blushes so cute I've heard that they're really pigmented as well Ooh, does she have cream blushes here this looks like a cream blush let's find out it is look at that cream blush so you can either get the liquid kind or the cream kind she also has lip oils you guys know how popular lip oils are right now look at all these shades Ooh, I kind of want to see this looks more like a lipstick a liquid lipstick than a lip oil though finally found the bronzer sticks by rare beauty they're $26 this is like one of the cheapest name brands that I have found in a bronzer stick so thank you rare beauty okay I'm gonna need one of the darker shades here I think on the horizon is what I'm looking for maybe I should swatch this first this is on the horizon Ooh, that was creamy I'm trying to see how well it blends they have a lighter shade, but it's not in stock on the horizon. Let me make sure I'm getting the right one. <gasps> no, don't tell me it's it's <laughs> gone. Are you serious? Not it being one of the only ones that are gone. Whatever, maybe I'll just go for this one. Always sunny. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, I'm either going with full of life or always sunny. This is a hard decision. Which shade do you think would match me more? They look the same on camera. It's not picking it up well. Maybe I should go with full of life because I think I have like yellow tones instead of red. I think I'll go with full of life. It's funny though that my shades are gone in the swatches. Like why? And the lighting's not even working. Oh, look how cute the Charlotte Tilbury section is. Okay, I've never tried her makeup before but people have been raving about it lately. Ooh, they have these little highlighting things. Oh wait, this is blush. What the? Oh my gosh, look how big this is. Whoa, looks like you get a lot of product. They have more products over here. When it comes to a contour or bronzing stick, I did consider Makeup by Mario. Here's one of them. This would probably be the shade that I get. Let's roll it up a little. It looks nice. Thing is, Makeup by Mario is really pricey, so I don't know, guys. There's the Fenty bronzer sticks. $32. Someone recommended for me to get one of her lip glosses. I have been wanting one, but let me know. Is it worth $22? I really like Fenty, and I'm probably going to try one of these one day. All right, so Milk also has these new matte bronzer sticks. $24, but I just feel like it's way too tiny for what it is. The only thing is they have a lot of different shades that work for brown girls, if you know what I mean. Where is the Milk section, actually? All right, I found the Milk section. They also have these Grip primers for $38 but the elf one is cheaper so maybe go with that see this is what I'm talking about they have so many good shades for brown girls when it comes to bronzers and contours it's just it's for so me short. it's too tiny to be $24 <laughs> like what that's a sample <laughs> but if you need a shade like this then maybe try milk I need to check out the Sephora section for some translucent powder because I do not have one Ooh, not them having their own little facial rollers cute 22 bucks each and the mini ones how cute is that there it is the sephora translucent setting powder for 15 dollars. this is one of the most affordable ones that i've seen and it's like a neutral shade i guess it's supposed to work for everybody i'll try it out do you guys recommend any other sephora products that i should try the last thing i need is like a little powder puff so i can use the new translucent powder that i'm getting so where would i find that look at Too faced this is so cute and pink i love it <gasps> Ooh, not the better than sex mascara. Cute. Not the lip plumpers. I don't think I would try this. My lips you are don't plump need enough. That. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> 
drunk elephant again it's always so cute full de janeiro guys i really did want to get these at one point but i just don't like the fact that it doesn't stay on like it goes away 10 seconds later but lots of people like it bum bum creams what do you use that for that's what i'm curious about they have bum bum cream up here i love how aesthetic and cute can't you just use regular lotion <laughs> Really? I think it's to smooth out things or something. Oh. My mom wants this for Mother's Day and she's been wanting it for a long time. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to get this. Even though she's right here. It's not a surprise, but who cares? <laughs> All right, everyone. I am back from Sephora and I only got two things. The translucent powder and the rare beauty contour stick. Sadly, this Sephora did not have the Glossier section. I really, really wanted the Glossier Balm Highlighter Stick, but it's not here. I don't know what's going on with the stores here. They don't have anything. So I don't know. I'm going to figure out another another so I can go to where I can find like cheap powder puffs there was one in the Sephora but it was so big and I was like mm, I want to go for the smaller ones for right now since I'm just testing it out anyways I'll see you guys in the next shot Marshalls is next I feel like I should find some pretty cheap self-care and makeup products here here's the beauty section in Marshalls Ooh. Wait a minute, look at this skincare. I'm already drawn to it. All the little eye oils and facial serums. Okay, wait, let me get the heck out of here. I came here for the powder puff. That's what I need to stay with. But then you see these. These are probably a lot more affordable here. $9.99, you see that's way cheaper than they had it at Sephora. Ooh, I should look for a brush to blend in my bronzer. What is this? Blend, apply, and smooth. This could work revolution. Look, this is powder brush. From what, Glow? Mm -hmm. It's $4.99. And then there's an e.l.f. one over here. I don't know what this is for. $3.99. Pointed foundation. Oh, this is for foundation. What is this for? I think highlighter? I can't find a powder puff, but I found this highlighting sponge, Best for Powders by e.l.f. This might work. How much is this? $3.99. If I can't find anything else, then I'm just gonna get this. Mario Badescu Skin Care Witch Hazel and Lavender Toner. Hmm, this looks nice. $8. It's on sale. I just don't know if my skin is gonna react to this because it's sensitive sometimes. Ooh, I like the application. Like, you just pump it. Mm -hmm. I am running out of toner. Ooh, mm, nice. Clinical Works. Wait a minute, I found another one by Ellen Tracy. What's the difference? They're both alcohol-free with hyaluronic acid. Now what the? I had to get a cart because I could not do this holding all the products. This will definitely help me shop more efficiently. Let's do this. So I've been thinking about getting these headbands, like how the beauty gurus wear them. These are actually a good price, like $3.99. But which one should I get? The light pink one or this like beige tan? It looks white on camera, but it's beige. They're both $3.99. Yep. But then there's this purple one that's $3 and it has some bobby pins. What do I go with? They have Lanier lip products? Okay, look at this set. Let's see how much it is because usually they're expensive. $16.99 for five different products. You get all the sleeping masks, skin refiner. Okay, that's actually pretty cool if you really want to try this. And I think this is a sleeping mask set as well for $24.99. Not the outfit of the day. Something basic but cute and classy and I also did a bun just to switch it up a little bit. So no luck finding a highlighter stick but I did find this shimmer highlighter. I don't fully know the brand but it's really cute. I like the packaging and it's big. It looks like it would last me a long time. This is $3.99. I don't know. Maybe this would be a good dupe. We'll see. Do you guys know those Stanley water bottle cups that are getting really popular? Look at this Hydra Peak one. This is like a little dupe for that. And this is only $16.99, a lot cheaper than the Stanley ones. If you guys are looking for a new water bottle, but don't want to break the bank. Literally, these stores have everything. I've been needing some dry shampoo because probably a lot of people don't think black girls use dry shampoo. Well, I don't use it on my natural hair a lot unless I'm wearing a wig and you want it to smell fresh under that wig for a long period of time. Let's see if we can find that. I see some over here by Batiste. I think that's how you say it, Batiste. The small ones are $5.99. This one looks like it smells good. The big ones are $10.99. This is another brand, $9.99, but it feels like there's nothing in here. I'm not a sandal person, but I'm trying them on just to see if any will look good on me because I'm trying to do some different things with my style. I just feel like my foot always looks so weird. Not the free foot picks. Here's both of them together. Not bad, kind of cute, like a laid back sandal. I don't know, what do you guys think? Now I'm in the clothing section. This is a really cute top. Ooh, it's a little bit dirty though. Ooh, it's giving summer. And there's shorts too. I want some new shorts, but something with a design on it so that not all of my shorts look the same. Oops, 
really. I'm also trying to get new colors. I have an orange shirt, but only one. Ooh, how about something like this? Cool. But one day I need to try a long skirt and see if I like the style. Ooh, I like this. This is like a tan top. I don't have a lot of things in this color. How much is this? $12.99? Okay. This is a really cute spring and summer dress. It says it's extra small, but it doesn't look like it. it has a little slit at the bottom. This would be cute to wear to the beach or just to go out for something laid back and fun. How cute is this? I like the style of it. Check out these purple Zara shorts that I found, guys. Zara is usually really expensive, but it's only $12.99 here. I don't know. Should I get these? It's a good deal. I just don't know what I would wear these with. Now I'm in the fitting room trying on clothes. First, I have this dark blue top. We're looking for clothes for social media and also just for the spring and summer season. This is actually really cute. I got it in a medium. I'll probably leave the store with this. And also something I like about Marshall's fitting rooms is they have different hanging racks. They have possibly, definitely, and tomorrow. That's actually pretty cool. a mini haul first what I got from Sephora I literally only got two products the Sephora translucent powder and the rare beauty warm wishes effortless bronzer stick I've never gotten anything from rare beauty until now and also I don't think I've ever gotten something Sephora brand I don't know here they are I got the bronzer stick in the shade full of life open it up for you guys Comment down below and let me know if I should do a video where I review all of these products. Ooh, the packaging is so cute for this. Let's see. Look at that, I'm so excited to use this. How cute. Now for the stuff from Marshalls, we were literally in there for like one to two hours, which is not good, but I mean, we were having fun. I got this, the cream plushy headband and it's cream colored as well. My camera's not picking it up well, but you guys get the gist. This is to hold my hair up when I'm washing my face or doing makeup and just to be aesthetic during makeup or get ready with me videos. I got this Beauty Concepts Shimmer Highlighter. I really like the butterfly on it. I just think it's so cute. And also looks like a pretty good shade for me. Also a good size, this should last me a long time. Yeah, I didn't get the Glossier Stick Highlighter that I wanted, but this should work too. I got my mom this Envy Hyaluronic and Salicylic Acid Facial Moisturizer. This was $4.50, I might try this out. This is literally two in one. And the last skincare product I got was this Ellen Tracy Cleansing Facial Toner infused with hyaluronic acid and it's alcohol free. This was on sale for $4 I think? Oh, $3. And the rest of the stuff that I got were clothes but I already showed you guys the clothing items I tried on in the dressing room. But that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. You already know what to do. Please make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe down below, share this video, hit that notification bell, and do not forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Peach Queen Official. And also let me know if you want more videos like this one. And I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Bye.